Hi guys, this is Rakesh here and I'm from Mighty Varsity. Uh, I hope you are following my previous videos on Apache Spark. I am covering how one, one can get a look and feel of what Apache Spark is. It's uh, APIs like uh, streaming, Spark SQL, MLib, GraphX. Apart that, our channel provides many other uh, good playlists on Hadoop and big data ecosystems. I'll recommend you to go through them and see what suits you the best. For today's topic, uh, I'm covering Spark SQL, which is an uh, which are libraries provided to us by uh, Apache Spark. When I say these are libraries, so it means they are not a framework. Like in Hive, Hive was provided to us by Hadoop ecosystem, but here it's not like that. These are simple APIs or sim simple uh, libraries through which we call, uh, through which we get look and feel of uh, calling structured or relational way of data access uh, like rows and columns the way we did in Hive. Apart that it has many other uh, capabilities that uh, it, it is a good mix and match of both SQL and Spark programs like one can run query based um, query based um, programs apart that one can uh, use the Spark inbuilt memory uh, capabilities like RDDs and other sort of things. It has uniform data access, which means that uh, you can connect with any data source in the same way. Like all we need is a Spark SQL Spark context and we can load the data in any format. Hive compatibility is also there. One can run Hive QL like HQL a query based which was SQL 92 on on this framework but main what SQL or Spark SQL provides us is an integration between structured data and Hadoop ecosystem like suppose we have structured data present in RDBMS or in files where we know the schema or where we know that uh, it it is placed in a structured way that row and columns are fixed or row and columns are being known to us so we can use uh, Spark SQL, which has good features. That uh, suppose I'm not from a, I'm from a, not from, I'm not a programmer, and but I know how to run queries, right? Queries are the simple way to get data. So one can use Spark SQL with addition to additional capabilities like data frame and data source and other APIs which are provided to us by Spark. So there's a standard connectivity through JDBC or ODBC and uh, through which BI tools like Tableau Quilk can get connected. I'll go to a history of how it has been created. So you, I think you are aware of how Hive was connected to HDFS through a MapReduce framework. Then we came up with a shark, which you know, SQL, Spark SQL was earlier called as shark. So which replaced the map reduce framework and uh, so it was HQL then SQL and then HDFS. Then they saw that uh, like we need additional capabilities on RDDs or so, like data frames. So we replaced it with Spark SQL. So then now this is the current format. This is the current form in which we are running Spark SQL queries. So guys, I'll not waste much time on these. This actually requires a bigger discussion. So what I'll do is I'll I'll run a simple program and will show you a simple way how one can get started in Spark SQL. Correct. So the guys, this is it. I had already created a simple Spark SQL example. For that, in my poem, what I have done is I have uh, uh, introduced two dependencies. One is this, which is Spark SQL 2.11 and the version is 1.4.1. And there's another dependency, which is from Databricks. Guys, I'll recommend you to include both of these dependencies because down the line in my other programs, I'll be using this particular dependencies, how to process CSV data format. So coming on to my simple Spark SQL example, what I have done is, I hope you are aware that how to create and uh, how to create a simple uh, spark object. It is just by going here and creating 
uh, a new spark object once you have that object you have to create a main main method and this is same like how we create a spark conf and uh, how we create a spark context once we have a spark context um, ready with our system i will say simple sql simple spark sql application i've given local to as a master because i'm running it on my local environment so then the next step is to create us sql context which is through this we need to give spark context as the parameter once we have that done i think uh, once we have this spark ql uh, created so what i have done is i have um, i have created a rdd uh, so this i i hope you are aware and i have you have seen how to create a rdd so this is simple p which is a rdd of a file which is already there here the file is i had created uh, i'll show you the file as well in my file what i have done is i have written Barack obama 853 narendra modi 865 rakesh sharma age 28 this is it yeah and what i have done is i have uh, on that rdd i have again created a pmap rdd which is a transformed i rdd which has uh, in that uh, the internal method which i had used is to split the data with comma and then a person rdd is being created which actually what it is doing is it is map what i have done is i have created a map uh, method in which what i am doing is so in this map method what i'm doing is i am passing uh, so inside i have created a lambda in which uh, there is a person class so i would like to show you a person class which is nothing but a case class in which it's a first name last name and an age of a particular person that's it so what i'm doing is through this lambda expression i'm uh, through this uh, particular closure section what i'm doing is i'm giving the values p0 will be the first element p2 will be the second element and p3 will be the third element guys here i know the schema like i i actually know where my uh, how my data looks like so i can determine okay this in this way my personal class will be created but in my other examples i'll show you that uh, uh, through spark sql we can discover what the schema is so we need not to know the schema uh, beforehand in this example i know that i just i'm just showing you a simple example but in my pre in my next example i'll show you how without even knowing the schema we'll be able to know the schema and we'll be able to perform certain actions on the same then guys i have to import an explicit uh, methods on spark uh, sql context once those are done these uh, this particular uh, import helps me to create my spark rdd to data frame so guys what is data frame data frame is nothing but rdd plus schema uh, this requires a separate discussion what rdd and schema is but for a time being just uh, say that uh, data frames are a combination of rdd in which we are known to a schema so once i have created a rdd what i'll do is i'll register I, what i have once i have uh, transformed it into a data frame through which once the data frame has been created i can register my temp table as person so it will be in memory table so guys once this is done what i can do is i can call a sql a sql statement which is select star from person and a collect and to list methods have been defined here to show you or to show to you to display the results and display the results in a, a list format so all i need is right click here run as skull application uh, yep started running Okay. It is again using port 4040. Yes. 
So here the result is. So you can see a result in a list in which all the database and all the all sorry all the data has been displayed uh, in a list format. So I think uh, so suppose if I want to say count. So in this way, I'll be able to get count as well. Yep. So you can see in my, I have a count as three. I need not to have this function for the count, I think. So guys, this is it. Uh, so this was the first uh, method. So you can see that uh, uh, we have the data. We can load the data into the table or into the object there the DSL has been used. And we can create a table and through which we can get what the data was. So through Spark context, we get the, the data which we had loaded into our system. So guys, uh, this is it about uh, my uh, uh, about uh, about this session and in the next session i'll show how to load data uh, in a csv format with uh, with the schema as well like how we can define schema and how we can what we can do with the schema thank you guys see you